Hello friends. So in this session, we are going to discuss a problem on area by double integration for Cartesian coordinates. So let's say the question is something like this. Find the double integration, the area lying between the parabola y equal to 4x minus x square and the line which is y equal to x. So first of all we need to understand the curve and then understand the region bounded by these curves like we have got two curves here and then checking for the limits for both x and y then we can apply the double integration in order to find the area. Okay so let us try and start with the first one. The first curve is let's say curve 1 y equal to 4x minus x square so you can see that on the left side we have got a linear term and the right side we have got a second order term or quadratic term so this is going to be a parabola also x square is having a negative coefficient minus so that means the parabola should be downwards and of course it has to be symmetric like either about the y-axis or any line which is parallel to y-axis the reason is x is the term which is in square here okay now what we can do is let's say we can find the points or the roots for this so that like where it is cutting or crossing the x-axis so this could be done by taking y equal to 0 or we can have 4x minus x square equal to 0 so we can have x common 4 minus x equal to 0 so this is possible if either x is 0 or x is 4 so this is something which is understood but we are still trying to understand so that we can know how to plot the curve then if you are looking for so that means the curve is downwards already is like consider this point should be 0 this point should be 4 and then maybe axis of symmetry should be in between 0 and 4 so that has to be 2 x equal to 2 and if we want to find the value at this point that is also possible by putting y at 2 so that is also possible so if you have to really find it although it's not required here but if you have to find so y at 2 will be 4 times of 2 minus 2 square so that is 4 that means this has to be 4 the second curve curve 2 is as simple as that which is y equal to x a linear graph passing through the origin and the slope is just 1 fine so with all this knowledge let us try to find the region now so we can see that with these two curves the first one was a parabola the second one is a line the region enclosed is actually this whole thing this is the region enclosed here and now in order to find the area we will also have to find the limits so let us say that we are trying to draw a vertical strip and for this region so before that we'll also need the point of intersection so point of intersection of these two curves one of the y is 4x minus x square and the other one is x so we can equate these two so you can see that this is going to be 3x minus x square equal to 0 if we take x common this is going to be 3 minus x equal to 0 therefore so we have got x equal to 0 or x equal to 3 which is quite clear from here that the limits let's say if we are considering the limits for x this is going to be x equal to 0 here the other one is this one this is x equal to 3 now let's say if we are dividing the area into vertical strips of some width dx then you can see this for the vertical strip let's say it starts from p and ends at q so it is clear that p the point p lies on the straight line which is y equal to x and the point q lies on the curve which is 4x minus x square right so the lower limit will be y equal to x the upper limit will be y equal to 4x minus x square the limits for x will be 0 to 3 okay so dividing the area or region 
into vertical strips. of certain width let's say dx now x varies from 0 to 3 already discussed and y varies from p to q so p is y equal to x q is y equal to 4x minus x square now on this basis the area required will be integration of uh, the upper limit and lower limit for x is 3 and 0 for y it is from x to 4 x minus x square dy dx like we have taken vertical stripe so we'll be integrating first in terms of y and then in terms of x okay now the first integration so dy integration will be y okay so y and the limits so the limits are going to be x and 4x minus x square whatever result we are getting should be integrated in terms of x and the limits are 0 to 3 i hope this is clear the first part is integration of uh, like in terms of dy so that gets you y the limits are y equal to x and y equal to 4x minus x square so these are the limits we have not put yet we'll do that and then once we get the result here should be integrated in terms of x with the limits of x equal to 0 to 3 okay so putting the limits we'll have 4x minus x square minus x so this one is the upper limit the lower limit so whatever comes out here then this thing needs to be integrated in terms of x from x equal to 0 to 3 like that so 4x minus x will become 3x minus x square dx integrated from x equal to 0 to 3 so the integration now is actually for 3x is 3x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 and this is with the limits of 0 to 3 so for x equal to 0 everything will be 0 so the lower limit will give us 0 only for upper limit it is going to be 3 times of 3 square by 2 minus 3 cube by 3 so 3 times of 3 square and 3 cube are all same that is 27 I am taking it common remaining factor is like 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 so if we take the LCM this is going to be 6 and 3 minus 2 which is 1 so area is 27 upon 6 of course this could be reduced or simplified further 3 is a common factor so this becomes 9 by 2 if you have to write in decimals it could be 4.5 so for the given region which was enclosed by the given curves like the one was parabola the other one was straight line we found the limits we found the region enclosed and then the double integration gives us the area for that region so that is how we have to solve such questions. I hope it is clear. Thank you.